Hello everybody, it's Stay Puff Yager here today, and today I'm bringing you a review on the NECA Pacific Rim Series 1 Crimson Typhoon. Now Pacific Rim is one of my most anticipated movies of the summer, so when I saw that NECA, which is a great company, was making toys on them, I just had to pick them up. This is one of the two Yagers in the series, the other one is Gypsy Danger, which is that one right there. I also have him, and I also have the Kaiju, which is the knife head. Now, let's just show you the back card for Gyp for Crimson Typhoon. Crimson Typhoon does not actually have this many kills. I think he has like six, actually. But that's what those mean. Those are his kill count, even though it's not accurate. He's got a cool little base at the bottom. And the actual box art had concept art which I thought was very neat and original on the back is nothing fancy it's just a pose of him which is nothing special and then it has Crimson Typhoon and the Mark IV on the bottom you have the three of the series like a show so nothing too big there but one of the unique things about Crimson Typhoon is he's the only Yager to be piloted by three pilots they're triplets which is very unique and cool. Now the reason this is for is because you have one com controlling the right side and the left side. The reason he needs three is because he has well three arms. Sorry for the noise, it's my cat playing with the toy. Anyways, this is one of the most articulated figures of the series so far and I have to say I love this guy. If you're unsure about the series these look so much better in person, and even this video isn't doing it a ton of justice. If you get really up close here, you can see that the red is very metallic-like to give it that, that robot feel. But it has a nice black to show off all the, the intricate parts of the robot. You can see right here, inside, second one. See all the different details that he has all throughout, which is very cool on the back right here. So they use a very good amount of black to, to really push out the features of the, the mechanical part of him. Now another thing I like is the detail in this guy. Crimson Typhoon is the Chinese Yager. And Gypsy is the USA Yager, which is cool because they're all unique and different in their own ways. I like how they have the Crimson Typhoon logo right there, and also a gigantic one right there. You have some Chinese writing, and it looks like a kill count right there. These cool little features are, are so neat and could be missed by, by someone who's not gigantic into the series, but they're nice little features that if you do know the series, they're nice add-ons. Another thing that he has is right here, which is the Pacific Defense Federation, which is what houses all these these giant monsters or Yagers. So these giant robots, this is the corporation that has them. Now, although you don't get to see it on the figure, these in the movie actually turn into a bus saw, which is kind of unfortunate that they don't have like an alternate hand or have movability to make it look like that. But as they are now, it's on a ball joint, so you get a ton of motion. Though mine tends to be very sticky and pop out. I had a very bad luck with this series from Big Bad Toy Store. My gypsy has paint defects, and this one had two very tight ball joints but that, this one wasn't a hard fix because you can just pop it back in and it works just fine you just have to watch but he gets a very good amount of movement in his arms because of a ball joint fortunately the elbow is just hinged it is not a ball joint so you can only get some range with the, the front hand and this is also just hinged but it is also very stiff unfortunately 
What I do like about this jogger is both of the arms are ball jointed, so you can get him in a wide variety of poses. And he looks very cool. Over here he's got a plasma caster. So that's his third weapon. Which is also very nice. Fortunately that is also only hinged. It's not a ball joint. But the arm itself is. But that could get lost due to the bulkiness of this armor piece right here. Now another reason why he's very unique is because of his head. His head is one of the only heads that has this kind of robotic look to it. All the rest are basically like this. They have that type of head. Different in design. But they have a, a human looking head which is which is cool. So you get a wide range of motion with this one because of the way it is designed and built. So you can get a lot of cool poses that way. Now, some people have had problems with the knees because they become loose. I haven't had that problem, so standing for mine isn't bad. But due to NECA having some loose joints on some of their figures, this one doesn't stand so well because he has a kind of elite kind of form of a foot. But I like it. I think it's a cool design. And mine works just fine. Stands. No worries about falling too much. Now, another problem I had with this was the ball joint right here that, that moves a ton. So, I mean, you can get a lot of range out of it. Was stuck. So, at first, it looked like he had a lean. What I mean by that is, at first, it looked like this part right here was, was stuck to the right. So, you can only pose the figure certain ways to make it look good. But that wasn't the, the problem. It was just another very stiff joint that I had to break in and then it was perfectly fine after that. The knees have a ball joint which is very nice. You get a nice range of motion. These are only hinged. You have a little bit of a hinge right here but that gets limited due to the the armor. And then you have a hinge on the foot. Overall Crimson Typhoon is definitely a very solid entry into the series and definitely worth the pickup. He's one of my favorite Yagers next to Gypsy Danger and Striker Eureka. Striker comes out in series two, but you can get Gypsy right now. He's definitely a good add on and he's going to be very unique with his three arms. Overall, I think the detail, the articulation, and just the, the coolness of, of owning him and the uniqueness of owning him is worth the buy. I think NECA did a very good job on the figure and I think they got the detail and the paint just right. And I definitely think this is worth the buy. So, that's my final thoughts on this figure. I think it's worth the buy. And this is Stay Puff Yager, saying see ya.